All right, we're gonna let squeakers go here on the count of three, okay? okay. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Look at her go, she's never been on the pond. Fill the mandarin duck's water. Got a male up here. Wonder what's going on inside inside this box. Are you defending the box from somebody? The one with the band on her ankle. She just jumped out of here. Let's see what we got going on in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eggs. How exciting! So awesome to see. And five eggs over here. Well, hopefully she'll go back to sitting on them as soon as I'm done filling their water here. Mess. <laughs> All right. Isaiah. You're being so noisy. Daddy wants to film. Whoa. Whoa. We're ready to build something over here. What are we building, Becky? We're going to build a floating dock. All right. So we've got ducks. We've got four, I guess, heritage breed ducks. We have uh, the nine Mandarin ducks, soon to be more, hopefully. But we've got four other ducks in with our chicken flock. We've got Green Lantern, we've got Squeakers, we've got Quackers, and then we've got Amelia, our Muscovy duck. We wanna get these guys out from the chickens. One, we've been wanting to do it for a while. Yes. We're kind of encouraged lately to do it now because some hens are getting some injuries, they're getting bloody combs, and we were trying to figure out what was happening. Losing and then, their feathers on their neck. And so I watched as I took a chicken out and fixed her up and then put her back in, and I immediately saw Quackers, our blue runner duck, go after and attack her. So we're gonna try to... Put them on the pond and see how they like that. Okay, so we've got two plans to get that going. One, we've got a floating dock. I bought this last winter and I think it was about 100 bucks online. We're gonna build a dock around that, put it out in the middle, and then we're gonna put our ducks out there and see what they do. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, we've got the top base of this. Ooh, this is already starting to get pretty heavy. Now we're gonna put some sides on it just to make it look nice and sharp out there. And then Becky had an idea, put a little ramp on it so that these ducks might just be able to slide right up into it. Hardware cloth on it to give them something to grasp onto. So we'll try to do that as well. So we wanted to add a little traction to this side ramp so the ducks can get up onto the top without slipping. So we thought using hardwood cloth and we're gonna just staple it on there. You think that's gonna work, Isaiah? You think that's gonna work? What do you think? Here we go, Joey. All right, we got it down here at the water. So we gotta get it in, take our little paddle boat, and get it out to the middle of the pond. And then we've got a homemade anchor here, this concrete block that Becky got out of the ground somewhere from a post that we're just gonna use to hold this somewhere in the middle of the pond. Oh, she's floating. All right. All right, I'm gonna ride this ooh, out to the middle of the pond now. Oh, I gotta push you guys. No, I can push. It's all right. Hey, Joey. Ugh. Oh, don't leave me. Oh. Okay. A little top heavy here. Anchors throwing the weight. Awesome. Oh. Hang on, Eli. Won't you? Can you put it in here? You just turn around so you put it in the back. We could drag you out. Okay, let's see if I can get out of this Were water. you wanting to go for a swim today? No. It's like 50 degrees. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, this thing's not, it's not super balanced. All right, pull me out. This 
So we decided not the middle of the pond. We wanted to have it right here in these cattails. So you have a little bit of coverage so they can hide in here. It's only like five feet deep. Ultimately, we would put a, a coop or some kind of housing on it. There it is. Hopefully the ducks will go out to it. All right. You guys go in. Right. You ready to put the ducks out here? Yeah. You, gonna, you okay putting Green Lantern, your duck, out here? Yeah. All right. We'll go get them. Okay, we get. We got to get a million first if we're going to catch her before she flies. All right, I've got Amelia, our flyer. Even thinking about putting a GoPro on her, see if it'll see what her perspective is of the pond and I'm in the air. Gotta be quicker. Gotta be quicker. Oh, you gotta move. All right, we got Green Lantern, the Black Cayuga Duck. Good guy. Right here. Duck. With quackers. Turn around. You carry mine. <laughs> Nobody gets to even see. Nobody even gets to see. Here, hold it. And who the feet, too? Who the feet? I know. And then we've got squeakers, our silver Swedish, and Amelia, our Muscovy. Yeah, we can drive down there. All right, we're going to let squeakers go here on the count of three, okay? Okay. All right, one, two, Three. <laughs> Look at her go. She's never been on the pond. Whoa, she's off and running. She's going to look for the shore, though, I bet. Stay out there. All right, and then we're going to let Green Lantern go on the count of three. You ready, Uriah? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. Go, buddy, go! Go! Yay! Aww, they love it. Gonna go, find that duck. go find that duck over there. The duck is right there. So Quackers is our duck that has been harassing the, the hen. So he's one of the reasons that we're having to do this here today. All right, we're going to let Quackers go. In three, two, one, go! I don't know if runner ducks are good swimmers or not. I don't know. He's doing it though. Oh, they're over by the dock. They're over by the dock. Last but not least, we got Amelia here. She's our flyer, so we think that we're going to let her go and she's just going to fly off. <laughs> so let's see what she does. Letting Amelia go in three, two, one, go! Woo! Come on, girl. Go! Go, 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 go! Oh no, they're running back. They're running back. They're going back to the coop. The three are over there. They're going right up the hill to the coop. We got to get them back. There you go. Chase them back. Becky's headed out to corral them. 
to help push them that way towards the dock. Go. All three together. Oh no, they're going away from it! Oh, no! Quackers is somewhere in here. We lost him in there. I don't know where he's at. I think they're liking that moth. <laughs> Stuck in the moss. Alright, Eli, you caught Amelia? Where are you guys going to take her? All right. There you go, Amelia. Get on it. Oh, they're right next to it. All right, they've been out here for a couple hours. Amelia's still out here on the on the dock. And we've got squeakers and green lantern right here. What we can't find is quackers. He went into this area right here and he hasn't come out. I don't know what's going on. All right, I've got my waders on. So we can go down into the water here. It's just about to hit sunset. I need to get a quick check down in here. See if I can figure out what happened to quackers a little while ago when he dove over into this area. I'm able to come out here pretty far, about 10, 15 feet offshore. But I don't know what happened to him. A little fish for the time. Another pretty nest over here. There's four eggs in there. There was some kind of blackbird that just flew out of there. Where did our duck go? Amelia, how's it going? She's hanging out over here. I don't know. She can fly and she can swim. I don't know why she wouldn't swim back to her coop. I don't see anybody. I told you. There's probably be somewhere else. Where do you think he's at? I think he's somewhere on our property hiding. You think he got out of the pond? Yeah. All right, well, I've got Squeakers, Green Lantern, and Amelia right there. And no word on Quackers. For now, we'll leave them alone. They seem content to be out there. We'll try leaving them out here for the night, come check on them in the morning. But man, I can't figure out what happened to Quackers. out on the floating dock and I just she's my favorite duck because she flies around and stuff so I wanted to at least get her off into the grass because she was an open target for the owls and that's what I did I could I couldn't find the other ducks so now they're out here walking around Quackers you survived the night somewhere where'd you go Go ahead. Oh my gosh, there she is. She's inside here. Actually, she can fly back, so she got back and she can lay her egg. The other one's gonna be a pain. I guess we'll just have to. I don't know. Why won't they come in before it gets dark? Well, it was their first night out. Maybe we'll get a routine to it. You're such a good girl.
So what do you think, Becky? Was it a success? I'd probably say no because we let them out. They swam there for a while. They stayed overnight and they're back in the morning. So I didn't really solve any of the problems. I'd rather them come in to the coop at night and then go back outside into the pond during the day. But they don't fly, so we've no. either got to figure out a way to let them in or we've got to get a coop down at the water floor. Well, cool. We'll have to try it again. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Come on, get on it. Try it out. Get on it. Get on it. Oh, they're right next to it.